What's up, YouTube? It's the ADBNH guy. I went to the Salvation Army today, Nashville, New Hampshire. I spent $52.34. So uh, let's see what I got. I found this puzzle. It's the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. I did a quick look on eBay and I only saw two of those. And I think they're going for more than 30 bucks a piece. Picked up this NFL authentic sideline San Diego Chargers jacket. It's a Reebok. Reebok's not the best brand, but this is in really good shape. Let's get the NFL patch right here. That's my little bird over there. This one is a Nike or Jordan hoodie. Let's get that on the front. It's got the jump man. Then on the back, it's got these uh, crazy characters on the back. So I'll have to do some comps on this. Looks pretty interesting. And it says it's the 20th anniversary. Took a little 20th anniversary right there. So hopefully that's worth some money. This shirt right here is a Boston Bruins old time hockey men's long sleeve shirt. And it's called Old Time Sports. This is the uh, brand. And I'm pretty sure this one has a little spot on the back. It's got a spot on the back. I'm going to have to pre clean. And this is a pretty big size shirt. This is double XL. So right here's a concert t-shirt. It's Mumford and Son. Mumford and Sons. Tour t-shirt from 2013. And that is a, uh, let's see what size that is. This tag's really uh, crinkled up here. Size small. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that's a real shirt. We'll find out. This shirt has a polo shirt. It's an Under Armour, and it's got a the large logo. Men's polo shirt, and it's got the '96 on the sleeve. And I looked online real quick, and. One of these sold the other day for around 25 bucks. So I picked it up. This right here is a really cool shirt, but it's gonna need some uh it's gonna need some work, and I don't know if I'm gonna get the stains out, but it's a foot joy and it's got titleless. It's got titleless on the sleeve, embroidered patch, and it's a foot joy men's polo shirt. It's a 2XL, I believe. And it's it's called the uh, the Rur the Rurkery. So it's it's embroidered on the front. So I think with the Titleist, and the Foot Joy, it's gonna do pretty good. But it's got it's got a bunch of little not major stains, but little uh, little spots here and there. So. I'll give, I have a process I use, uh, I have two processes for taking care of steam. So I try one process, that doesn't take it out. I try the next process and uh, hopefully I can take those stains out. So right here's a pretty cool shirt. It's an Isaiah Thomas sewn on Boston Celtics jersey. And this is Adidas. It's got some, it's got some uh, peeling, kind of cover, couple runs in the back. Definitely get a little spot right there, but it's sewn on. I think it's missing its tag too. Yeah, doesn't have the tag in the back, but it might not have it on this one. But it has everything right here. It's a size medium, so. 
Because of the uh, good, good player for the Celtics. And uh, it's a sewn on jersey, so we'll see what happens. I found another guest t shirt. This one's pretty, pretty cool. Guest Incorporated 19, what was it, 1981? And uh, the size medium. So here's the Boston Bruins hoodie, majestic, and it's size large. But it has, uh, it's got a hole in the sleeve. I noticed a hole in the sleeve when I bought it. I, I knew it had this hole, but I think it's still going to sell. It's a majestic patch right there. Let's get the Boston Brewers patch on the sleeve. And the other sleeve has another patch that says Boston Hockey. So hopefully this does pretty good. This right here I'm going to be careful with. It's a Monster Energy men's uh, hoodie. Full zip. Because I guess Monsters really uh, cracks down on eBay sellers. So I'll have to do some homework. I might not list it. We'll see. It's missing tags back here, which is probably not good. And uh, I don't think it has any tags on the inside, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna sell this if it's not legit. So I'll have to do some research on it and uh, see what happens. Maybe I'll sell it locally. That's what I'll probably do. I'll probably sell it locally. But uh, monster stuff goes for a good price. It has a patch on the back. Blazing Glory FTJ. So we'll see what's up with this. I gotta do my homework first on that one. So here's a pretty sweet shirt. I might keep it myself, we'll see. It's a Nike Dry Fit Double XL USA Basketball T-shirt. We'll see if this fits me. If not, I'll sell it. So here's a pretty cool shirt. It's a Majestic Pat Patriot t-shirt. And this is a size extra large. Looks like it could fit a 2XL also. It's pretty wide. And found some footwear. I found these Keen Kid Sandals. These are size ones. Plenty of tread left on these. These always sell when I find Keens. And I find some women's dance coats, uh, mules, clog shoes. And a lot of women use these uh, for like a lot of nurses who wear these. You know, anybody, business people. And they got a leopard print. They're pretty good shape. They have a couple little scuffs, but nothing major, you know. So, that's a good brand to look out for is Dansko. And that's all I got, guys. So, thanks for watching my videos. You guys have a great Wednesday night. We'll talk soon. Peace.